Pero bago yan, Derek and uh, Nina Mel, kwentohan nyo muna kami, paano nagsimula, kanino nagsimula, yung kwento ng Family Matters? Sa akin nagsimula. Okay. <laughs> paano yan, Nina? Go. Uh, there was a time na uh, I really lessened my work because I felt my parents were growing old and I really took time to take care of them. And during the time, parang na-inspire ako na ah, uh, ito talaga yung, doon ko talaga na ramdaman yung nare-reverse ang role that the children take care of the parents na parang naging alagain. So, that was the take-off. But I've had this script mga 2018, uh, 19 pa. Oh, wow. I, I wrote it and then I set it aside. Sabi ko, uh, hindi ko isa-sell until sure na i-produce. So, okay. I, it was really waiting for the right time. So. Right. Direct, uh, paano ka nakuha o napili para maging kapitan ng barangong ito? May pinapwento sa akin si James kanina eh, pero gusto ko ikaw na yung magkwento direct. Well, actually, matagal na akong kinukuha ng scene ko to do a movie for them. Tapos, siyempo ito, after the pandemic, uh, naalala ko yung script na pinabasa sa akin ni Mel. Sabi ko, parang this is the perfect time for this movie kasi Katatapos nga lang ng pandemic, tapos parang kailangan natin ng ganitong klaseng pelikula. So, naalala ko yung script, binigay ko kay, ano, kay Mayor Roque yung script. And immediately, nagustuhan niya yung script. Walang pinarevise, walang anything na pinagalaw doon sa, sa script. So, pero, I think this is the perfect time for her. Pero direct talaga in-intend niya for Metro Manila Film Festival? Well, no, muna ko kasi siyang nabasa. Gusto ko sana siya talagang maging follow-up sa Miracle. Okay. Kasi family movie, di ba? Yung Miracle kasi, di ba, uh, father and daughter. So, That's right. So, yun naman, sabi ko, gusto ko buong pamilya naman. Right. Oh, so, kaya lang, nagka-pandemic, hindi natuloy, di ba? So, na, na-hold yung project hanggang sa, eto, ito na yung tingin ko, tamang-tamang panahon para dito. Everyone's returned to the cinemas. And speaking of family, isa-isay na natin. Uh, let's ask the cast for their roles. Ano yung kanilang papel sa pelikula ng ito? Pakilan silang anak? Anong klaseng anak? Let's start with Ian. Uh, my name in the film is Francis. At ako po ang panganay na apo. Yeah. Panganay na apo. Okay, got it. Uh, ako naman po si Nelson. Ang sabi po dito si Fortune. Uh, si Fortune na si Mayne Dizon. Alright. Ako si uh, Enrico. Uh, ako yung bunso sa magkakapatid. Ako yung uh, <laughs> tinaguri ang uh, inside joke as a menopause baby. Oh. So, yeah, may, may ganun gaming running joke. Mamaya i-explain ka. Okay. Uh, Tiki? <laughs> ako po si Ellen. Ako po si Ellen. Ako yung third child. Uh, ako yung feeling ko favorite ako ng parents ko. Okay. Uh, kasi close na close ako kay Tita Liza sa story. Alright. Mylene? I play Fortune. Ako yung panganay na daughter. Uh, my role here para ako yung masyado kasi seryoso yung kuya ko dito. Played by Noni Big Camino, si Kiko. Um, so medyo ako yung icebreaker ng konti para hindi masyadong seryoso. Um, yeah, I play also the wife of yung James. Yung Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh, Alright. Um, I play Odette. Ako yung asawa. In law ko. Uh, asawa ko si Kiko. Played by Noni Buen Camino. Tapos, siguro, uh, ako yung nagte-temper kay eh, Noni. Kasi medyo, very, uh, masyado niyang tinitake uh, seriously yung kanyang pagka-panganay. Mm. So may feeling niya na kailangan siya yung bubo, siya yung nag-delete, siya yung right. ano yun, yung panganay syndrome. So ako yung medyo nag-detemper to go in between pag may mga uh, uh, ano yung problema. Right. Ang mga parents naman po. Parentals. <laughs> Ang uh, pangalan ko po sa sa, sa movie eh, Francisco. Ako po ang padre de familia na ang concern ko ay magka, magkaisa, mag, magkaisa ang pamilya 
ma-overcome kung ano ang mga problema ng mga pamilya, ma-overcome namin at mabuo ang pamilya in spite of all the problems. Alright. Tita? Ako naman po, I play Eleanor, yung asawa ni Francisco. And I have four kids. And um, uh, the youngest stays with us. The, my, uh, Uh, yeah. The third, yeah, the youngest girl. Anyway, uh, ang, ang nagiging parang konting problema lang ay itong asawa ko ayaw mag, magpaalaga sa iba, ayaw okay. ng caregiver o ng kailangan, gusto niya ako lang. Okay. Na okay lang naman sa akin kasi mahal na mahal ko siya. But yung mga kids namin ang worried na baka, you know, ma mahirapan kami. So, they borrowed us one by one na itinapakasa namin and all ganyan. Okay. So, because we were unhappy, we wanted to stay in our own house. Yan o. Ay, o. Ayan na. Pakalawa na yan. Nagbibilang po sila dito, Lorena. At dito, Lisa. Nagbibilang po ang lahat. Okay. So, simulan na natin ang ating Q&A. We begin with Tito Mario Bautista is here. Hello. Uh, first of all, congratulations po Maso kayo sa Dean Fest. And since this is a family movie, I'm sure maraming manunod nito kasi Pasko and Christmas is about the families. Uh, hey, Lizzy, I'm very happy that you are playing a lead role again. I'm here. Ayun. Mario, I love you. Where are you? Ayun. Yeah. Ayun. Wala ka sa ng Lola. I miss you. But I'm so happy na I did wrong ili ang binagampan mo. Kasi the first time you won a Best Actress Award was also in the Metro Manila Film Test for Halimaw sa Baka. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, Mare Angara. That was 1986, I think. 86. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, ikaw ang pinakabitaran mo dito, di ba? Since... Kami. No. Parang nakuna rin siya yung mga ano yung mo. Sa tayo, nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa amin, di ba? Yes! Nag-radio ka pa ano sa So, thank God, during this time, nakasama ko pa rin siya in my lifetime. And I... Hindi ka ba nag-iasa at champo itong sinilin? Hindi, pero pinapanood ko yun. And then I mentioned to him na pinapanood ko siya sa susunod na kabad na nata or sa COVID-19. That's when he believed me na pinapanood ko siya. And he was worried na baka ano raw ko suklada o Ah, Lizzy, ang layo na rin ang tinakbo ng karib mo since you won as first runner up sa Binibining Pilipinas in 1966, I think. And then, the Pomposena Productions got you for Dahil sa isang bulaklas. And then, since then, you have won so many awards. You won for Peggy Galiaga's Oro Plata Kata, which is now showing. Yes, yes, yes. After 40 years. Yeah. 40 years. Yeah. And uh, you worked with all the great directors of local cinema from Broca to Bernal, Mike De Leon for yeah. Sister Stella, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and Mario De Los Reyes for one of your best movies, Gaboon with Chato, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who played your mom in Fam... In Fam... 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 And now, you're being directed by Noel Naval, kabilang sa mga bagong sibul ng director na yun, di ba? I'm so lucky because I love Noel. So how is it? Tell us about your experience working with director Noel. Ay, nako. I can't complain kasi ang galing. Ang galing. And he's very friendly. Mahappy siya sa set kahit na nakukonsume o ano, he's still... He's still, you know, 
joyful ang mood sa set. You know? wow. mm -hmm. Pero strict to rin. Strict to rin siya. And, uh, yung dalawang apo mo kay Tomtom talaga na magsashowbiz pa sila? He, well, yung isa, yung Anisa, did two movies with ano, oh. anak ni Isko. Mm. And, and the premiere night on January 6 yata yun, oh, si Joaquin Damagoso. Mm. Pero ganun lang siya, seasonal. Kasi she's studying in Singapore now. Mm. Uh -oh. But she'll be back for the premiere night. How about Wednesday? How she doing? And how's your apo who is a golf champion? Uh, they're living in ano, in Colorado. Mm. And uh, Philippe, Philippe is 21 now. Mm. And he seldom plays golf. Mm. <laughs> I see. So, thank you. I hope you win another Best Actress Award. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Sana in my lifetime, isa pa. <laughs> thank you, Marco. I love you. Okay, mm. Noel oh, naman. Sir, He's going to ask you a question, sir. What's your name? Wala pa. 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 Wala Something. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a very bad uh, hearing problem. Mm. Okay. So that's why I have to keep consulting. Yeah. I, I know. I know. I know what's going on. What's going on. So I and this is this is one of the difficulties that uh, I had when we were shooting. Oh. In that, I had. I I have to. Naging, naging running joke na nga eh, because the director would come to us and explain the scene and said everybody's going, going. Pag talikot pala niya, sabihin ko na sa katabi ko, ano raw, ano raw, <laughs> you know, naging running joke na. But it's, it was very frustrating for me, but at the same time, doon mo makikita ang samahan namin, they were also patient uh, with me mm -hmm. and so very helpful. Uh, which which helped me, you, you know, you. finish this movie. We love you, Kaya Kamsulation. Uh, and it's because we love. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, we're really, a we, we're really yes. part of the family. We had fun doing it in, uh, oh, in spite of my hearing problem because of these guys. Mm. <laughs> so if you're going to ask me a question, I hope you don't mind if I will ask her, Ano raw? Ano raw? <laughs> So tell about tell us about your experience doing this movie, working with Lisa and the rest of the cast members, and the, with the Red Noel. No, I, I don't know if I said it earlier. The, to begin with, this was the the most difficult in terms of uh, uh, scheduling. Mm. You know, uh, it takes you know, a couple of hours after that to go home, a couple of hours, balik na naman, malala yung aking, ano, yung bahay ko from the set. No? So, in, in, in that case, ang hira, but it was also the most pleasant uh, shooting I've ever experienced. And that's because of these people, we were really one happy family during during uh, breaks. Meron kami biglang makasayawan. TikTok. Viral siya. Viral siya. So it was a terrific group. In that masaya, masayang masaya. Kahit na mahirap na mahirap, Ang saya-saya namin, uh, kami dalawa ni Lisa, the, we spend the time singing old songs. Yeah. But the co contest came here, oh ito, alam mo, and she'd sing one, and I'd sing another. In the meantime, while we were doing that, two of the young people,
people na isa ako na may praying ano po isa ano they would be dancing habang kumakanta ko mo Sinatra song na swing they would do it in a modern dance and that's how we took that, that's how we spent our time while waiting for the scene so ang saya-saya kahit na ang hirap-hirap ng ng uh, ng paggawa ng pelikula thank you well no well it is a big blessing that you're still very much around at 81. So, good luck, and I hope you will also be an award for this ah, movie. Oh, no, man. Mm -hmm. so, you know, saka, I give that chance to add. Uh, Para yun ko na may magtatagal pa ako ng konti. Marami pa, dito na well. Although, I must say, I, I always say, ito na palagay ko ang last hura for me. Uh, and, and one reason is because of my hearing problem. But if this will be my last tour, then for me, it's such a terrific honor to have this as my last tour.